Hi there Capricorn, listen to your monthly prediction right here. Capricorn, wishing you a very healthy and fun-filled March 2023. The cosmic energy this month will encourage your ongoing quest for knowledge. Treat every experience as an opportunity to learn something new about yourself. You may be challenged to take accountability for the wrongful things you've said in the past. Moving forward, choose your words carefully. Growth can be uncomfortable, but the more you embrace these difficult moments, the more self-aware you'll become. Sea Goats, with Saturn, your ruling planet, entering a new zodiac sign this month, an important new chapter is about to begin for you. According to your Capricorn horoscope for March 2023, this change will have a huge influence on your day-to-day -day activities and thought processes. Saturn, planet of boundaries and restrictions, will be moving into your third house of communication on March 7th, ushering in a new kind of mental pressure. You want to expand your mind in concrete and useful ways, minimizing idle conversation as a waste of time. In fact, you may feel a great pressure to plan your time meticulously, overwhelmed by the disruptions of acquaintances and colleagues, errands, and other daily occurrences. Just remember, this sense of urgency and worry is all in your head. You don't need to feel plagued that you aren't doing enough. In the end, the information you obtain in this cycle will help you to gain a greater understanding about yourself and the world. On March 17th, love planet Venus sends positive vibes to stoic and distant Saturn, melting cold hearts and filling you with a greater need for intimacy. You are looking for true, serious love, not the kind that springs up one season and dies with another. It's possible you could strike up a new relationship, perhaps with someone older and wiser or at least with a serious disposition. Still, this is not the time for companionship for the sake of companionship. If you see the writing on the wall when it comes to your relationship, you are ready to calmly and rationally take the steps that are needed to end things. With these planets working together, love is passionate, loyal, grounded and cooperative. You can forgive and resolve conflicts whenever possible. Near the end of the month, Mars, planet of power and action, forms a favorable aspect with Saturn and gives you a burst of energy to complete any task with efficiency and discipline. Now, you are primed for working on the things you are passionate about. It's possible that you may find real results in your business dealings. You're reliable and dedicated in your private and public life. This is a great time to commit in your business and or romantic partnerships. Don't shy away from this new cycle, Capricorn. Breath through the growth and let the people you love support you. Profound shifts take place this month that usher you into a new era of your life, and all you have to do is be open and available for the change. We begin the month with a beautiful and auspicious alignment of Venus and Jupiter, which will be visible in the western sky after sunset on March 1st. This alignment takes place in Aries, your fourth house of home and family, indicating a time when you may be receiving blessings and grace in these areas. Whether you're searching for a new home, waiting for good news from a parent or family member, or you're finally able to furnish and decorate your space, the first week of March is excellent for all things related to your home, land, and family. In fact, this area of your life stays busy throughout the month as the alignment is followed by an Aries new moon on Tuesday, March 21st, and another alignment between Mercury and Jupiter on Monday, March 27th indicating a great time for travel related to home and family as well, like visiting relatives or searching for a place to relocate to. The most significant shift occurs on Tuesday, March 7th, when your ruling planet, Saturn, enters Pisces. This is huge. Saturn is a slow-moving planet, spending three years in a sign before moving to the next. Since 2020, Saturn has been in Aquarius, your second house of finances, 
income, and purchases. You've spent the last three years investing your time and energy into yourself, focusing on creating long-term solutions to ensure your financial stability into the future. You've done so much work, and it's never easy being so tight with your finances and spending. Congratulate yourself. Now, as Saturn leaves Aquarius to enter Pisces, your focus and responsibilities shift toward developing and solidifying valuable skill sets. There's likely a skill that you're already strong in, such as writing, coding, cooking, or crafting, for example, that you may start to feel the desire to take to a new level. Or there could be something new you're itching to learn, like a language, video editing, or herbalism. Your focus will be on developing and mastering this skill over the next three years. And don't worry if you're not quite sure what that is right now, as it will become obvious with time. Another exciting aspect of your ruling planet shifting into Pisces, your third house, is that you'll feel more comfortable and yet compelled to get out of your comfort zone and explore your local surroundings related to third house themes like transportation and short distance travel, your neighborhood and locality, as well as siblings and extended family like cousins, aunts, and uncles. Whether you'll find yourself connecting more with nearby family or simply exploring your city for the fun of it, you can find a lot of fulfillment and growth through these activities. You may even feel inspired to whip out your bike or buy some rollerblades to help facilitate your re-entry into the world. There's no rush, but it's an exciting change of pace that you shouldn't wait to hop into. We know you're sick of hearing about how Aries rules your fourth house of family and psychological rootedness, how this action at the base of your chart rewards peace, psychological firmament, and the cultivation of home. Fine. We've got batter fish to fry. First, there's the matter of the full moon in Virgo on March 7th in your ninth house of expanding horizons. This is an invitation to strategize on who you're targeting in the months to come. Make lists of gatekeepers, mentors, and teachers you need to reach out to. Then, on the 25th, Mars enters Cancer in your seventh house of relationships and public visibility. Now we're cooking with gas. Balance out your investments in a steady home life with some extracurricular engagements. Schedule studio sessions with your collaborators, one-on-ones with your lovers, and chances for you to emerge out in the wild. Just because you're rooting in the present doesn't mean you can't look to the future. Hmm. You're questioning some big beliefs and values this month. Your faith has faded and you're not sure where to go from here. The answer lies in introspection, sure, but also connection. Who can you chat with about this? How can you feel more connected with the world again? When you're not pondering the very meaning of life, you'll have some new opportunities in the realm of home in March. Maybe that's a shift in your family, or it might be as basic as a change in your physical space. Either way, you'll feel more secure, and thus have the freedom to have fun and be creative. Once you do explore that creative energy, something will click. You'll recognize the abilities you've had all along but haven't appreciated. If you're ready and willing, those talents could work to bring about major transformation. Good things are coming. You just need to be ready to grab them with both hands. Subscribe to Highest Good. Thanks for watching. To get your daily prediction updates from our team of psychics, subscribe to Highest Good and click on the bell notification and never miss a prediction.